Hey guys, Joseph here, and today I'm answering 15 questions about the Amplug 2 guitar headphone amps. Let's start with question number one. What would you recommend for indie pop or bedroom pop? For this genre, you're going to want more of an overdrive tone, so I recommend either the blues or the classic rock models. The difference between the two is that the blues has more of a warm drive tone, while the classic rock is more of a dry drive tone. Vox Amplug or the Blackstar one? The benefit of the Blackstar Amplug 2 is that you can switch between the clean, crunch, and lead tones easily by just pressing the button, whereas on the Vox, it's more of an adjustment of the gain wheel. It's still easy on the Vox, it's just not as easy compared to the Blackstar model. So if you want flexibility in that sense, the Blackstar would be for you. I personally would pick the Vox Amplugs because of the tone control. It's more of a expected tone wheel. Whereas on the Blackstar Amplug 2, they have their proprietary ISF tone control, which can be a bit confusing. Blackstar Amplug Fly 2 or Vox Amplug 2 for clean. Vox Amplug 2 clean, hands down. I think that model has the best clean tone out of any of the headphone amps I've tried. So if you want it for clean, get the Vox clean model. Hey, should I get this Valaton instead of Vox clean Amplug? Honestly, I'd sacrifice other gain for a clear tone. However, based on the other reviews I've read, it seems like the Vox Amplug 2 is fragile and there's a lot of hissing. Like I mentioned before, for clean tones, the Vox model wins over anything else. The Valaton can also do some cleans, but even in the lowest setting, if you play a little bit harder, there are some distorted bits at the end. So if you want a pure clean tone, Vox Amplug 2. As far as white noise is concerned, most of the headphone amps I've tested have had at least some level of white noise, but if you keep the volume at around 5, it's less noticeable, especially while you're playing. As far as whether the Vox Amplitudes are fragile or not, that really depends on how rough you are with your gear, which you know the answer to that. So if you're worried about the connector jack or the device breaking, I recommend you get the quarter inch extension cable so you're less likely to put pressure on the device or bump it against something while you're playing guitar. Hi, I do hesitate between this Valaton or the Amplug 2 Blackstar. What would be your choice for rock in general? Rock, punk, metal, blues? The Valaton because of four reasons. One, it costs less. Two, it has more effect options. Three, you can have up to three of the effects on at the same time. And four, it's USB rechargeable. Which Amplug model can be used to play punk rock music? Classic rock. Which one do you think that is best for jazz? Blues or clean, but probably blues. Which one would you think would give you the closest sound to 80s hair metal? I would look at the metal or the classic rock model, but leaning more towards the metal model. Look guys, the bottom line is that for the Vox Amplug 2 models, they did a really good job at distinguishing between the different types of tones. So you've got your blues, your metal, your classic rock genre. So if you have a band or song that you're trying to replicate, just search up what genre they're in and find the respective model for that and you'll probably be set. How does the metal model handle clean tones, i.e. low gain and turning down the output from the guitar? I'm surprised you're still getting a lot of crunch even with gain at 1. So if you turn the volume knob on your guitar all the way down and then slightly turn it up until you can hear some signal, the metal model can give you some decent clean sounds. But it doesn't take much before it turns into an overdrive and then into what you hear in the video. So it is possible, but there's not a lot of leeway there. How do you record this amp? Do you stick it directly into your computer through the aux 3.5 millimeter? The 3.5 millimeter aux in is for bringing in audio into the amp. So like connecting your phone into the amp to play a song. If you want to record, it's going to be connecting your headphone output, which is where you plug in your headphones usually. And you wouldn't be able to plug that straight into your computer. You'd need some sort of audio interface which at that point, I usually wouldn't recommend you getting these headphone amps in the first place. You'll have a lot of different options to get different sounds using free softwares after purchasing an audio interface. So that is something for you to consider. For a practicing beginner, would you recommend this or the clean one? 
I recommend the clean model because that's going to give you the least affected guitar tone. And it's going to help you see easily what you're actually playing and what areas you need to improve on. Can we use it with or connect it to a pedal? Yes, some people have used them that way, but I wouldn't recommend it. And here's why. The way I see these headphone amps, the ideal person to get this would be a beginner guitarist who's on a tight budget and wants to go ahead and start practicing right away. And then they can save up their budget for buying a decent amp in the future. Now, if you already have pedals, most likely those are going to give you a better quality tone than these headphone amps anyway. So I'd rather you save up, buy a decent amp and use the pedals you have that way. Do I need an amp for it or does it make the sounds itself? No, you don't need a amp to use these headphone amps. You just need headphones to plug in to the device. Now, I know it looks like an amp, but no, there are no built-in speakers. So you do need to plug in your headphones. Comparing both Blackstar Amplug and Vox Amplug are both jacks fragile. Now, like I mentioned before, if you're careful with your gear, there should be no problem. But again, if you're worried that you'll lean on it or something like that to damage the device, then just go ahead, get a quarter inch cable or extension cable. I'll link that down in the description below for anyone that's interested. Can I use the Vox Amplug 2 metal for my bass? Yes, you can actually use your bass or guitar for any of the headphone models that are provided out there. Um, the only thing is that the specific bass models will probably handle the low end frequencies a lot better, whereas the other models might have less of a bass frequency. If you want to check a specific model of the Amplug 2s, you can go ahead and click the card here, which will take you to the playlist of all the headphone amp reviews I've done so far. If you like this video, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.